And that's how you do it, ladies. You go to dinner with a guy, you can have a great time. Towards the end, you start to act crazy. Tell them all the medication you're on, and then you get a free dinner, and they'll never talk to you ever again. Follow me for more life tips. This is how women exploit men, and nobody wants to speak against it. In the next 10 years, after she hits the wall, the tables will turn. She can laugh and act evil right now, but the undefeated wall will get revenge later. You will know vengeance. Where are the men that plan dates and vacations and buy you flowers and show you off? And I ain't never had that ever happen to me. I'm trying to see what that'd be like. Those guys probably ran a mile because they were tired of getting taken advantage of for their time, effort and resources. There seems to be a lack of appreciative women who reciprocate a man's effort these days. It's a waste of time. This is my number one tip on how to never catch feelings for a guy and it basically is to never read into anything that he does. Meaning keeping, keep everything surface level. Like, oh, he took you on one date. Man was hungry, probably just wanted to eat. Oh, he kissed you on the forehead. Oh, maybe he thought there was a cute gesture. It doesn't mean anything. It does not mean that he likes you. Like, oh, you guys see each other like almost every single day. Maybe he's bored and he's just like looking for someone to waste time with. Never ever look into his actions like there's some type of emotional attachment to them because there's just nothing, you know? And if you keep it in that mind space that everything is just as it is and there's, there's no underlying feelings behind any actions that he does for you, you will not catch feelings for him because there's nothing to catch feelings for. Everything is just exactly what it is and nothing more. I think it's interesting how women can't be affectionate without making it a big deal. Guys can be very affectionate with a woman inside and outside of the bedroom, but will never want to commit. But women naturally tend to romanticize everything, which makes them start to fall for a man. I don't know if her strategy of distancing herself from a man would work or not, but in the end, it's not really my problem. Not my problem. From now on, before I commit to a date, I'm gonna need the Venmo name because I've been flaked on like three or four times in the last month. No communication, just can't, making plans and dudes not telling me. I waste my eyelashes, I waste my nails. All for me to be sitting here like an asshole at the end of the night at 10 o'clock with full face makeup and not knowing what the hell is going on. So you're getting charged if you do that to me. At least $75. It costs you $75 to wear all of that on your face? I can't believe that. Even Pennywise does not spend that much on his makeup. And he is a clown. See you in your dreams. You know what irritates my soul? On these dating apps, these guys, like I've seen this happen multiple times in their profile. They're like, I'm looking for somebody who likes sports, working out, and sneakers. What? So you're looking for another guy? On my dating profile, I do not say, oh, I'm looking for somebody who's into fashion, who's into makeup, who's into shopping, unless I'm looking for another woman. Like, what are these expectations that men have? Like, there is women out there who like sports, who like sneakers, who like being active, like all those things, right? But it's not about connecting through hobbies. You can connect through hobbies. It's about connecting in other deeper ways. No, they are not looking for another guy. They are just looking for a woman who will not have a heart attack after walking up three flights of stairs. When she said it's about connecting through other deeper ways, she's probably referring to connecting through food. She's always hungry. Okay, I'm having like a dilemma in my head because I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> when I say I have like years, like years of trauma from men treating me like absolute garbage. When I say like how many times 
I've cried over a guy who is literally not even doing the bare minimum is very not only exhausting to think about but also just like embarrassing and I, I've got stories but needless to say I'm dating a guy that is like treating me so well and I'm like are you are you real <laughs> This is what happens when women choose to date guys who are bad boys and regardless of how much these guys put them through, they stay with them for the amount of time that she did. It became so bad that now she's finally chosen a good guy, she can't believe she's being treated with respect. Unfortunately, it's possible that she's going to sabotage this new relationship because she'll bring old negative behaviours into this new relationship and he will have to become her therapist i hate therapy happy new year's eve y'all this is from all my baddies baddies we leaving stressing in 2022 2023 we're not stressing over no man know your worth know you a boss and know you know less than a man you don't need a man for nothing everything a man could do for you you could do for yourself so stop putting yourself down and know your worth focus on you 2023 do what's best for you better yourself and that's period. <laughs> the really sad thing is she'll continue to have that same attitude 10 years from now, after she hits the wall. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? She's talking about how hard it is dating when you are plus size. And before y'all saw saying, you're not plus size. My credentials. Anyway. Uh, when I was in college, it was the worst time dating because I have never been so desired, but not publicly. Like the amount of guys that would hit me up to come to their dorm and slide up on my stories. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Oh my God, you're so this. But then would walk past me in the cafeteria like they've never sucked on my nipple for 20 minutes straight. Well, there is a pretty simple explanation for this. He did not want to bother you in the cafeteria because you were waiting for your food. I didn't want to disturb you. Whenever I come home from a good date, and it's been a few days, and the guy still hasn't texted me, like after one or two or three dates, my first thought, because I'm delusional, is, damn, this guy has no game. <laughs> or I'm like, wow, he's so boring, he doesn't even know what to say. Or like, he's so intimidated by me, he's like really trying to play hard again. <laughs> But that's how you should be thinking, girls. Stay delusional. Boy, I'm glad you said it.